Hello and welcome to High Cut Short Clip. This video is about the point cloud. High Cut now allows you to convert point clouds either with the E57 interface or to import them via a project cloud file. I would like to show you this by using the project cloud file. Let us now import one. At this point I would like to thank VHV Anlagenbau GmbH for providing this point cloud. It has been loaded now and I have the option to place the point cloud right here. Thus we are turning it in. Now I choose the isolated point, then I rotate it by 180 degrees. In the next step I want to pick up a certain point of this point cloud. I do this with the new point option, which can be used here to place it accordingly in the high cut model drawing. In the next step there are so called clipping boxes which I can use to cut down my drawing in my point cloud to such an extent that I only get the area I am really interested in where I might want to place something. Also here it is possible to edit them afterwards or to delete or exchange them. Now I would like to show you over views how I draw the floor for example. In the drawing I first switch to the side view and create an extruded solid. I use this plane for this and now draw a rectangle over the floor which can be dragged here. You can decorate this afterwards with parametric constraints if you like, so that it is even more detailed in the drawing. As for me, I leave it like this for now, just pull the floor a bit deeper. Now I take a point from the point cloud, which would be the deepest point, so that I can determine the real depth of the ground. You also have the option to set a measure, for instance. So if you want to take a measurement, I can use a 3D measuring. If I want to measure the height of the cabinet, using the point from the point cloud. And depending on how precisely the dimension settings are set, a result is generated. In the next step I open the catalog and install a new part and after that I have to place it. And For this I hold the construction in the middle. Here I have the option to look at all disturbing edges and to make sure that the part fits well into this example or if necessary to adjust it. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!